Welcome back to the Chevy Florida Insider Fishing Report. We're here at the CCA Florida Workbench. Dave, yes, new we are. products is the way you make a living. Yes, and uh, hopefully we can do it well. Yes, you do. <laughs> this is our new Starbites, a big uh, sponsor of ours, but this is a really cool product from them. It's the Starbright Ultimate Vinyl Guard. And I tell you what, a little story. A girl at work had, had some problems. Her grandfather, I mean, her father in law climbed in the car with sunscreen all over her new car. No. And uh, she put some of that vinyl guard on it and it got all the stains off and, and, and just made it really nice. She was very appreciative that I gave her some of that stuff. But it's, it's so awesome stuff. You just simply just spray it on? Wa spray it on, wipe it off. It's like armor all times 100. It's awesome. It makes, the, it makes your leather, your vinyl, uh, just about any kind of plastic that you put it on, it's gonna it's gonna make it uh, soft and supple and shiny. It, it really does a good job, and it'll clean. It'll, you can use it clean, you know, to get some grime off. You know, I wouldn't use it to, to get real heavy dirt off. They got other cleaners for that. Right. But this is a really good stuff if you want to keep your leather and your vinyl protected, your plastics in your car or in your boat. That's obviously your boat. Great it's, stuff by the guys at Starbright. They've they've everything they make. Yeah. Good stuff, awesome. So. This cool. is a really cool thing. This is a a. a Fraybill pump, uh, Plano owns Fraybill now, but this is a, a, a pump, a live well pump that floats on the surface of the water. It'll turn any 30 gallon cooler, uh, bucket, container, live well, whatever you got, you float that sucker in there and it uses little this little air draw, it puts micro bubbles in the water, it gets 100% saturation of oxygen in a 30 gallon tank. So, you know, this is great if you have a a cooler up in the front of your boat and you want to turn it into a live well, you want to go to live bait or whatever, it's got a nice on off switch, uh, floats around nicely, you can you can adjust this weight, you know, whichever you want to go, right. when you put it in a corner, mm -hmm. so it'll stay in a corner. It's got a removable filter in there. So um, you can clean it. Exactly, and it'll keep your, keep your live baits alive, which is a great little thing. You know, they make a lot of those little cheapy type of deals, you know, that they hang on buckets and stuff. Yeah. This thing would be Little awesome. Bubblers. You turn yeah, you turn that you know, turn a nice Yeti cooler into a well I can tell you into a live well. This is one thing tonight, it's not gonna get returned. No, no, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we also got the little this they uh, Rapala sent this thing to me mm -hmm. about three weeks ago mm -hmm. or maybe a month ago. Should we I, show them I don't people's? even I don't even know if people have seen that sucker yet. That's the Rapala Shadow Wrap and it's a jerk bait. You know, it's, it's a, a real jerk bait. But that sucker, I, I made two casts with it and caught a bass and a biggest speck, speckled perch I've ever seen in my life in my back lake it, on two casts. And that thing, it, 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 it goes in the water and it, it, it floats straight down doing this thing. You yeah. Know, it flashes so straight. Shakes. And it doesn't sink real fast, it sinks real slow. So you can make a long cast and by the time you don't have to hurry up and get it yeah, before yeah. it sinks too low. You know, it sinks real slow, so you can, you know, a good now, slow retrieve, and you can jerk it, and it'll jerk 180. It'll do 180s on you. Not walk the dog under the water. Under Come the water. On. It's walking the dog under the water. Come and, on. And, and, and it, it works just great, even if you don't do that, even if you just, just so reel it along. In salt water, it's even going to sink slower. It will sink slower in salt water. Uh, there, that's, the, that's the new Rapala Shadow Wrap jerk bait. I can tell that he and I are going to have a moment <laughs> yeah, together. There's some, there's some little scratches on there on that one already. <laughs> you got to love it when they get scratched up right out of the box. Man. I do. Speaking of scratched up, now we've had some, these aren't. These are these are nice. These are extra tough. Uh, they're made by extra tough. We've had their boots on here before. You know, they're, they're called the Alaskan sneaker. Everybody wears those extra tough boots to work. Mm -hmm. Well, this is their new Bluefin Performance Deck Shoe. And, you know, just like the, the other extra tough, all their stuff, it's just they're incredibly well built. Those are 100% waterproof. You know, you can don't have to worry about getting them wet. That's for sure. They got microfiber leather up on the front and a breathable mesh. They got the you know the nice removable insole, so you can wash it out. You Take know. it out and wash it. You got to yeah. you know you got to do that, or these things are gonna you know they'll kill you. They'll, they get so stinky. Uh, everybody says they have micro micro whatever it is, right. and keep stuff from stinking. I haven't yet to found that to well, work on any shoes that I've Well, you're going to test these, I'm sure. Well, and no, you'll... I can't. Those are for you, man. I don't think this I This is can... my size. Yeah, I don't think oh, I can. Thank they, you they, so much, guys. I appreciate it. They sent them for eight, you for some reason. <laughs> those also have good weep holes, you know, for drainage and everything, so yeah. they dry real fast, which you got to have in a boat shoe. It's not, not as important are they to, to, you know, be able to stand up to being wet, but they got to dry off quick. Right. Know? Uh, one of the last things we got some here, we got some, you know, Egret's a good Florida company. He's making a lot of jerk baits. Uh, these are uh, some of their little wedge tails. I like the I like the little tail action on there. I don't know why. 
I, I just think like any it. any man likes a little yeah, tail. Yeah, why action. not? That's got you know the, you got just the chartreuse. Saying. Exactly, you got the little chartreuse <laughs> tail. <laughs> You're gonna make me blush. Yes. And that's you know it's got the crystal in there. I you know I like soft baits a lot, but this is my was a, the egret thing that I really like. It's their little their their mullet. That's uh -huh. a that's a three and a half wedge tail mullet, and you see they've got it cut wedges. That's you know it's been around that little uh, technique's been around for ten or so years. People doing that, but that thing is really really tough. I mean you feel that this stuff this is made out of the same stuff they make shoes out of. Mm -hmm. So you can't put this with the other soft baits. Remember like in the old days they'd have that plastic that would eat up your worms and everything. Everything melt together. Well, that's the one thing about this thing. It's really, really tough, but you don't want it to be sitting around your other baits. It's got a you know a half ounce weight in it, so you can cast it a long, a long way. ways, yeah. and it's got the, you know a good balanced treble hook on it. I imagine trout, redfish, anything that would eat a little mullet, and that looks exactly like a little mullet. Anything that would eat a little mullet will eat that uh, egret mullet. All right, good job, Dave.